Hi, everybody. It's Dana and Haggard from Hunters and Closers. Great to take another brief minute with you to give you another tip and trick for how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, if I am assigned a particular territory, right, as a sales representative to sell into, I might be given two, three, four, five or more states. Maybe I might be given a couple of different cities. Uh, depending on what my territory might be, I might need to go in and find all of the potential leads that are located inside of my territory. Now, if I'm just handed this territory, maybe it's January 1 at the beginning of the year, I want to build out my territory. I want to make sure that I am targeting those individuals uh, that will lead me to the most opportunities, right? Those individuals who have the highest potential to buy my product or service. So I'm going to give you a couple of different filters and ways that you can find this information inside of LinkedIn Sales Navigator and save that then uh, for future reference. So you can receive alerts when there are job changes or you can receive notifications when they post something to LinkedIn that you can respond to and engage with them through social media. So let's go ahead and take a quick look here. If I go into this advanced search feature here, I can search by leads, I can search by accounts, uh, so if I'm looking for particular accounts, what I'll need to do is I can put in what that territory might be. So let's say I'm given uh, some of the Western territories. So California, uh, let's say I'm given Oregon, Washington, and we'll say uh, Nevada as well, right, as uh, my sales ter territory. So once I put those four different states in, you see that it gives me over 700,000 different potential accounts that I could reach out to. There's no way that I can reach out to or target 700,000 accounts. And many of those are definitely not gonna be a fit for my type of product or service. So then I can also search by industry. So maybe uh, I want to sell into the software industry. So if I type in software, it now limits those results down to 22,000 companies that are in my territory that fall under the industry of computer software. Again, 22,000 companies is still a lot of companies to reach out to. So let's go ahead and look and see what else we can do to minimize that search. Let's take a look at uh, company headcount. So history might show that I sell best into companies that have um, a certain number of employees or maybe based on my segment at work. Maybe I'm an enterprise sales representative or corporate or a small business. Depending on that, you can select then the size count, uh, the bandwidth that uh, you'll fall in under. So if I am, let's say for an example, an enterprise sales representative and I target companies that have 5,000 employees on up, I'll add that to my search results. And now it gives me 73 companies, much more manageable uh, than the 22,000 or 700,000 that originally was given to me. So let's go ahead and search now and see what it pulls up. So you can see that I, I'm, I'm given the companies of Microsoft, VMware, Symantec, Adobe, Skype, Autodesk, Intuit, and so on. Now what I wanna do is these are gonna be my target companies. Maybe some of these are already current customers for your employer. Maybe you're not allowed to target those, but what you do wanna do then is go in and save the accounts that you do want to target. So as you save these, then you will receive updates in your LinkedIn Sales Navigator feed of company updates, maybe press releases, um, you know, what are the leadership changes here? These are great. 16 with leadership changes in the last three months. These are great tips and tricks that you should be following and paying attention to. Who's changed jobs at these companies in the, recently? Uh, oftentimes new leadership comes in, they want to clean up house, they want to bring in some of their old tools or bring in some new services, new products, and these are the ones that you want to target. Uh, other times you see that somebody's left the company. Uh, and you might be able to follow them and see where they've headed to to give you a little bit of a head start. So these are great tips and tricks that you want to pay attention to. Uh, so you can click on, for example, uh, recent hires. So we have Maureen here, Corporate Vice President, Chief Operating Officer, Business Applications Group for Microsoft. Maureen might be a great target depending on the type of product or service that I sell. 
for me. So I want to, you know, click on her, find out when she changed jobs, what her current responsibilities are, what's changed. Uh, you know, so let's read through what she indicates here. December 2017, you know, in the last three months she was hired responsible for operations of the business applications group, which has 5,000 employees in 30 countries. So I'm not sure if she is a great fit for you, but you can see how the strategy works to go in and find great companies, great individuals who might be a fit for your product or service.